first of all, Janine, congratulations. You've made history today for none of it. How does that feel? Amazing. <laughs> it's, yeah, I'm still in shock. I knew we could do it, but to actually get it under our belts is another story. We are so excited that this happened and we want to keep the ball rolling. Yeah, it was uh, figuring out the ice and the hit game played into us big time. Um, it worked for us and we'll see what we do on later in the week, but the big challenge was to try to figure out the ice right away and I think we've got it under our belt, yeah, yeah. Sadie Pinkson, she made history as the first skip ever to win at the juniors and she's on board today. It speaks highly of, of her skills, but also the future of Nunavut curling as well. Can't say enough about Sadie. If Nunavut's uh, to continue to grow, um, Sadie at its helm will be representing us in no better fashion. She is calm, cool, collective, and the nicest person you could ever want. So that's, that's our territory, happy and nice, and that's her. Welcome back to the Scotties. It's been a minute, so uh, how'd that feel? Awesome. Uh, it was great to be on the ice again uh, at the Scotties. It's always a magical feeling, and um, it's nice to get a, a first win there. Well, and when you see the draw and you see Krista McCarville, you know you're going to get a good game, and that's probably a, not a bad thing to come out of the gates and know that you're going to be challenged. Yeah, they're going to have an amazing week, and uh, they played really well out there. It was a really close battle right to the end, and just a little deep on our last, but uh, it could have gone either way there. So you've got to approach, you and Joe obviously have to approach this, Scotty's a little differently this year. You're thinking about different things, nutrition more than usual. How, how have you found that? Uh, has, has it felt natural, or are you still kind of getting used to this whole pregnancy thing out there? Yeah, I think we've been pretty lucky and feeling pretty good. Um, and I think it's mostly just been the same, you know, just focusing on the same things, rest and recovery, and just listening to our bodies. It was an unexpected way to win, for sure. I mean, it was a good game. It was back and forth all the way. It could have gone either way, but certainly, you know, Kristen and McQuish made two absolutely perfect ticks in the 10th end, and we're thinking, okay, it's over. And we got a miss out of Selena, but we still were way over on the side of the 8-foot. And, I mean, Tracy Fleury drawing the 8-foot, you got to like her chances. But she got it. There was one path on the sheet that was a lot slower. And I think she just got caught. And I think if she throws the same weight somewhere else, they can probably they, they sweep it. But I think they get it to the 8-foot. So a tough break for them, but we'll take any win we can get. Yeah, we knew that the ice is patchy with the frost a little bit. So you know there's going to be misses. So you just got to put some rock, like just keep plugging away, put rocks in good spots. And uh, both teams are going to miss shots. So you just hope that it goes in your favor. And I mean, that was the story. It wasn't a high percentage game because the ice was a bit tough, but both teams made key shots when it mattered. She made a pistol to take two away from us in nine. And then, you know, we got the break back in 10. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's just one of those things you got you to hang in there and hope it works out. We missed it last year, and it feels like I've been away from the Scotties for a lot more than one year um, because watching it on TV last year was really not a lot of fun. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's nice to be back. You always get, you know, a little bit of butterflies putting on your provincial, you know, your crests and things like that. That's a bit different. Every spiel we go to, we're just wearing our own, our own gear. So it's, it's always fun to do that and the whole ceremonies and everything. Yeah, it's, it's a fun day. It's always a little bit of a oh, happy to be here. I got to ask you too. There was history made out there today. First win ever for Nunavut in the in the main draw of the Scotties. Yeah, and uh, that that speaks highly of curling in the far north. And LGC being a coast to coast game, that's good for curling in Canada. It's great for curling in Canada. I mean, that's great to see them get a win. You don't want anybody to go through without. And they've been working hard for a couple of years here since they since they got their kind of their spot. And and now there's an opportunity for them. And so good for them for working hard enough and seizing it. That's awesome. Welcome to the freaking Scotties Tournament of Hearts. Nothing like a four banger in ten to say welcome to the Scotties. Yeah, I was. Uh, I I was we were incredibly fortunate to uh, to pull that one out um, and and super lucky uh, it is it feels like a nice start uh, it doesn't feel like we got off to the best start but uh, there's always stuff to improve on and when we can get a win we're gonna take it yeah when you see the draw and you're playing the host team right away coming out of the gates I mean like you know the crowds are not exactly gonna be in your favor so hot yeah no they weren't even close to being in our favor <laughs> They were, but it, I mean, it, it's so exciting to be out there with Jill too. Like, it's got to feel so good for her. She walked out there and the entire crowd went crazy. And uh, I mean, that's got to feel so good for her. We're just, we're just happy that we got to play them and experience it with them too. Uh, so far, it's really blown my expectations out of the water. It is something that I have dreamt about since I was a little girl. I, I watch it every year. I try and get there every year. Um, but just to sit down at that table last night and get the necklace and, and to walk out into the stadium today in the opening ceremonies with my dad uh, in the crowd, it was very special. Are you wearing that necklace right now? Let's see it. Let's, I'm never going to take it off ever. <laughs> yeah, very special, but very special.